can't go in my room. Why not? Whitney said you smelled gas. B because I was just in my room and I didn't even smell any gas in there. Well, I didn't smell any gas when I was in the kitchen either, but I want to check the valves just to be safe. Oh. And they're in your bedroom closet. But I could have been wrong, Louise. Well, Whitney sounded pretty sure that you were right earlier. Yeah, Teresa, what's going on here? Are you, like, hiding a guy in your room or something, huh? <laughs> Whitney? I mean, that's just so funny, hey? Teresa's hiding a guy in her room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I'm hiding Leonardo and a cat. <laughs> Leo. Yeah. Look, did somebody smell gas or not? Yes! No? No. No. But uh, I thought you told me you smelled gas, Teresa. It, it was a gas. It was kind of, um, this a sulfur smell coming from Mama's bathroom. Ugh, there must be a problem with the septic tank. The septic tank? Yeah, out in the backyard. <sighs> you are so lucky not to have to live with a kid's sister. Yeah, I can see that. Um, let's go check the septic tank. I want to check the uh, bathroom, Mom's bathroom first. Okay. <sighs> well, there's nothing wrong with the toilet either. It's weird. No, I'll check the septic tank too. But I have a feeling that it's just fine. Then what do you think Teresa was smelling if it wasn't gas or sulfur? <laughs> Who knows? She can be so scattered sometimes. I think she was deliberately trying to keep you out of her room. I mean, not that she was hiding a boy in there or anything, but you know how teenage girls are when it comes to their sanctuary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, how do you know? You don't even have a sister. I know what it's like to want some privacy. You should give her her space. I'm not trying to invade her space, Hank. It's just that I can't keep from worrying about her. She lives in this dream world. You know, she wants things that she's going to have to work hard to get. Even then, there's no guarantee she'll get them. So what's wrong with having a dream? Well, nothing for most people. But with Teresa, it could be disastrous. Now, she dreams about this fancy house and servants and country club memberships. Yeah. It'd be so easy for someone like Ethan Crane to take advantage of her. Oh, no. Here we go about the Cranes okay, again. Okay, joke all you want. But I know what I'm talking about. Now, Teresa thinks that Ethan Crane is some sort of a uh, prince. She doesn't know that the Cranes are a bunch of users. Well, there's nothing wrong with the septic tank. What the hell are you doing in my house? I said, what the hell are you doing in my house? Another reason why I came by? My appointment to the police board is the only reason I'm here. I hope we can work together amicably in the future. Well, I could have saved you a trip down the hill. If you'd have talked to Sam Bennett or anyone else, they'd have told you that I keep my personal life separate from my professional life. I'm glad to hear it. I'm looking forward to our first meeting. If you want to discuss something about the police department, you can contact me at the station. I only welcome invited guests in my home. Fine, that's clear enough. Hey. Teresa, don't look like it's the end of the world, okay? Luis is only looking out for you the best way he knows how. I can't believe the nerve of that guy. Coming into my home like he was welcome. I think you were a little hard on Ethan. I thought I was pretty cool. I didn't smash in his face, did I? You know, Ethan's not that bad of a guy, okay? He seems okay to me. Yeah. I'm sure Alistair seemed like a good guy, too. And then one day my father just disappeared. <sighs> Louise, you're being unreasonable. Look, even if Alistair Crane did something wrong, you can't prove it. So why blame Julian and Sheridan and Ethan? Haven't you ever hated someone so much that it was beyond reason? No, I can't say I ever have. Okay, but why blame Ethan? He had nothing to do with your father's disappearance. He was only a kid when it happened. Ethan is a crane. Eventually he'll grow up just like his father and his grandfather. Now, I can't take the chance that history will repeat itself. And how is history going to repeat itself? Alistair Crane caused my family a lot of pain. 
Ethan can do the same thing. This time to my sister, Teresa. 